getting started with Deltec Cobra 8. If you're new to the world of Deltec Cobra, then welcome to an ever-growing community of earned value professionals who've discovered the power and flexibility of Cobra and understand why it's the best in class tool on the market today. This video is a brief introduction for getting started with Deltec Cobra version 8. You will see a brief navigation overview and some short clips of Cobra being used to load, update, and analyze a project, and then produce a report using the report wizard. Context. Before we look at the Cobra software, let's first give you some context. Starting with a diagram of Cobra's basic architecture and how it's positioned in a typical integrated earned value management system. You can think of Cobra as being at the center of your project scheduling, financial, and reporting systems. Cobra uses an Oracle or Microsoft SQL Server database as its main repository for all earned value projects. For integration with other systems, the powerful Cobra integration wizard is used. The integration wizard allows Cobra to load projects from the scheduling system to create your performance measurement baseline. It is also used to extract periodic status and forecast data from the scheduling system once the programs are up and running. The integration wizard also extracts actual labor units and other costs from your financial system. Cobra then uses this data to calculate current actual costs and your estimate at complete forecast values. Cobra also has another integration wizard for exporting data to Deltek Winsight an industry standard reporting tool for earned value management reporting and trend analysis. Out of the box, Cobra ships with over 50 standard reports that will cover all your immediate reporting commitments. All of these reports are Microsoft Excel based. You can even customize the reports by modifying the Microsoft Excel templates used to produce them. A Cobra project. A Cobra project is comprised of four key files that are the foundation of all projects. Known as ancillary files, each project must be assigned a calendar file to determine the reporting periods, at least one code file, but typically two, the WBS and OBS codes, at least one rate file, more than one rate file can be used in a Cobra project, and a resource calculation file used to build all the direct and indirect costs for the project. The ancillary files must be in place before you can create a project, unless you are having the integration wizard build them for you using data in the scheduling tool. We generally do not recommend this approach. From here on, a Cobra project is simply an assembly of all these ancillary files, which support all the control accounts, work packages, milestones, and resources that make up the project. Cobra then uses the ancillary files to determine reporting periods, validate WBS elements, and calculate planned, earned, and actual costs. The Cobra Interface. Now let's take a quick tour of the Cobra 8 interface. Cobra has eight tabs in the left-hand vertical pane of the Cobra Explorer view. These are your main navigation tools. These all reside in the main Cobra Explorer tab and are used to access all the elements of a project. When you first log into Cobra, you are presented with the contents of the Projects tab. The table area of the Projects tab contains a list of all projects in the system, along with summary data that shows the main budget earned and actual costs for the project, along with some standard indices. In this view, you can double click on any project to open it. The Calendars tab provides access to all the project fiscal calendars defined in the system. Calendars can be created, modified, or deleted in this view. Cobra uses these calendars to determine the reporting periods within the project. A unique calendar should be created for each new project. The Codes tab provides access to all the code files defined for the various projects. Code files contain such critical items as work breakdown structures, organizational breakdown structures, and other custom code values you may need to assign to your projects. The Rates tab provides access to all the rate files in the system. Rate files contain the current and future rates for all the resources and materials that will be used on the project. 
The Resources tab provides access to all the resource calculation files in the system. A resource calculation file is used to define the calculation for direct costs, overhead costs, general and administrative costs, or any other calculations required for each resource. The All Reports tab gives you a list of all the reports available to you in the system. From here, you can run existing reports or define new reports and criteria. The Personal Reports tab contains all the reports that you have personally modified or saved from the All Reports view. Batch Reports allows you to organize commonly run reports into a named batch list and run these as a batch process on selected projects. Returning to the Projects tab, let's double click on a project to open it. When a project is opened, it creates a tab for that project at the top of the screen. You can open many projects during a session and navigate between them using these tabs. With the project open, Cobra displays the project view. A Cobra project is made up of four main elements, all of which can be edited from this window. These four elements are control accounts, top level elements owned by a specific manager that contain and summarize the data in the work packages below. Work packages, a second level project element that describes a portion of the work scope required to complete the control account. Work packages are generally one to three periods in duration, and there are generally multiple work packages to each control account. Work packages are typically where resource assignments are made, although resource assignments can be assigned to control accounts also in Cobra. Milestones, the lowest level of detail you can break the scope of a work package down to. Milestones can be used to spread out the earn value points when long duration work packages are necessary. Resource assignments, typically assigned to work packages, but sometimes control accounts. Resource assignments are used to develop the planned value for the project. The project view. In the top half of the screen, you are presented with a list of light blue rows that represent the control accounts in the project. These control accounts can be expanded to reveal any work packages that are assigned below. In turn, work packages can be further expanded to view their various resource assignments. To the right, you can see a time phased area that shows the resource assignment cost totals by period. The lower half of the screen provides the general, milestones, steps, codes, and notes tabs. This is where you can examine or edit detailed data about the object you have highlighted above. The general tab contains all the high level data you need. With the work package selected in this example, you can see the description, earned technique, and the start and finish dates for baseline, actual, and forecast. If the work package has an earned technique of milestones, the Milestone Steps tab displays the details for these. Unlike schedule milestones, which tend to denote a deliverable or specific finishing point, earned value milestones are used to denote a point at which value can be earned for the work package based upon some specific achievement in the scope. The Codes tab displays any code values assigned to the selected control account, work package, or resource assignment. The Notes tab can be used to keep personal narratives or a log of events that occur on the selected object. The Time Phase Details spreadsheet displays the breakout of hours, direct and indirect costs for the resource selected above. Resource assignments provide a list of resources assigned and a time phase spreadsheet to the right showing the selected resources value for each period. Resources carry the dollar values for planned, forecast, earned, and actual costs. To model this, Cobra uses cost classes to differentiate between a planned cost, a forecast cost, an earned cost, and an actual cost. These classes can be seen against the resource in the resource assignments row of the table area. The ribbons at the top of the Cobra screen offer buttons for processes, integration, reporting, tools, and edit functions. 
Some systems may even have a custom ribbon if one has been defined in the data tool. Functions of the edit ribbon allow you to add new control accounts, work packages, and resource assignments. You can also delete work packages and control accounts if your privileges allow. You can build a project from scratch in Cobra, although most projects are created using the integration wizard to integrate with an existing project schedule. Integration wizard. You've now seen all the main views for navigating and editing a Cobra project. Next, let's take an overview of the integration wizard and some of its configuration options. In the integration ribbon, you can choose from a number of integration wizard options within the import group of buttons. If we wanted to integrate with a Primavera P6 schedule, for example, we click on the Primavera button. In the integration configuration dialog, you can see that the Primavera option has been set for us in the where are you loading the data from field. In here, we can also choose to create a new configuration or open an existing configuration. In the connection selection dialog, you can define how you want to connect to the scheduling system. In this example, we're connecting to Primavera P6 using a Windows data source that is pointing to our P6 database. Action selection allows you to choose the type of integration you intend to perform and what elements you wish to load. Here, we've selected control accounts and work packages, along with resource assignments. This configuration is for loading a P6 schedule that will create a new Cobra project with a performance measurement baseline. In project selection, you choose the project to integrate with and the target project in Cobra. At this point, you could load the project into a shell project or have the integration wizard create the new project for you. We'll go with the former option, we are loading this schedule into a shell project we created earlier. In date selection, we've chosen to load the baseline dates from the P6 schedule and at this time are only loading the budget resources, not the forecast resource assignments. The schedule mapping dialog is used to select the P6 user defined fields and activity codes that contain the information required for Cobra to build the project. You also have additional tabs in here should you need to map any additional data fields to Cobra's control account or work package codes and a tab for additional user fields. A couple more dialogues for mapping the earned value, resource assignments, change control, filters, and other options, and you're ready to save your configuration and load data into Cobra. That's a very quick look at the integration wizard. This tool is also used for loading data into the rate and resource calculation files and loading actual costs from the finance system. The integration wizard makes Dell Tech Cobra the most versatile tool on the market, able to integrate virtually any combination of project and financial systems. Using Cobra day to day. Once a project has been loaded into Cobra, your main interactions with it will be concerned with the reporting cycle, typically monthly, and changes to the project based upon formal change requests. During each reporting cycle, certain steps need to be taken to update the status, calculate earned value, calculate forecast, and load actual costs. Let's look at Cobra to see the functions that you will need to run each month. Advanced Calendar. This option moves the status date forward to the next reporting period. This prepares Cobra to take status updates from the scheduling and finance system. Once the calendar has been advanced, the integration wizard is then run to load status from the scheduling tool and the actual costs from the finance system. Next, the Calculate Progress function is run to calculate the earned value on the work packages for this reporting period. Finally, the Calculate Forecast function is run to calculate your EACs for any manual or statistical forecasts you have configured. Backups. You should perform frequent backups for your Cobra projects. 
especially just prior to, during and after update cycles or any change management operations. Backups can be performed quickly and easily using the backup button from the quick start menu. A backup will allow you to completely reload the entire project in the exact state it was at the time of backup. Analysis At the end of each update cycle, Kerber is used to produce standard reports so that the current status of the project can be evaluated. Cobra also has a special analysis view that allows you to drill down through any selected structure and locate work packages that have variances using the red or green coded cells. This tool also allows you to enter narrative about variances in the lower narrative text box. You can also run simple charts from the analyzer view as well as export the table out to Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. Reporting. Once everything is completed for the reporting cycle, you can use the Reports tab to run all the necessary standard formats. Simply choose the report you wish to run from the list and double click to start the report wizard. Following the steps in each dialog will help you build the report with the required levels of detail and data types you are interested in. You can easily save your report configurations to a new report for quicker access in the future. Saved reports will appear in your personal reports list. The report will open in Microsoft Excel and can be further formatted if desired and be distributed as a standard spreadsheet file to all the project stakeholders. This Tensix presentation is for educational purposes only. Cobra, Crosspoint and Winsight are registered trademarks of Deltek. All other trademarks are also recognized. 106 Consulting offer a full range of training courses for Dell Tech Cobra version 5 and version 8 covering both fundamental and advanced topics. Visit 106.com to learn more about our classroom and online training options.